to the nether. All right. So this is a big work in progress. I'm trying to make a hub style thing like you see on the Minecracker server and Hermitcraft and all those multiplayer servers, I think. And me. Wow, how about we load? Really? Really? Be right back. All right. So this is the hub. It's, I haven't done much with the main main portal area. It's like what I'm going to be working on next in here. So my plan is to have a tunnel for each location that it goes to. This one goes to a snow biome where I do my ice collection. This one goes to the stronghold to access the end and the ender farm. And it also goes to my nether fortress with, as a blaze farm there. This little guy goes to the pickup area for the mob collection. So we could go there. This has ice underneath for quick travel. So you can just sprint jump. I didn't think it was worth putting a rail for such a short distance. I should change those. Okay, so this is, yeah, like I said, about 200 blocks away. When you first get here, the items aren't actually here, but they get loaded and they start being streamed over. I think the important thing for this one, for building one of these is you don't want to be too far away. I originally ended up tunneling a bit too far. So when you when I got here, none of the items actually came because they were still trapped in an unloaded chunk. So you want it so when you get here, your village is unloaded, but the chunk that the items got left in does get loaded. So yeah. No, oh, still coming. I don't remember. I think I just checked it before. But yeah. So there's a lot of gunpowder. Zombie flesh full all the way to the top. No idea what to do with it. I think I should just start chucking it. Oh. Arrows I started using for the chickens. Bones galore. And the sugar cane I'll just send back. So I use the ender chest to quickly bring stuff back. I typically don't store anything in them. I use them just for quick travel, or quick transportation of items, or moving more items than I can carry. I also use it for caving. So yeah, that is that. I really like it. Very effective. Not too effective. Okay, next, why don't we go to the winter? There's not much there yet, other than some ice machines. And these designs are from JL2579, I believe his name is. Oh, I guess I can just show you this real quick. So yeah, this is the plan. So a tunnel that's kind of themed for the region that you're going to. And then some little kind of open space for the portals. This is what I came up with. It's okay, I think. So sorry, yeah, these designs are from JL2579. At least that's where I saw them. These I gotta change the iron bars. They didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. It's kind of similar to what Etho just built on his. Except it uses randomly placed piston. Well, not random. Placed so that every water block has one block next to it. I think it's... I don't know if I even placed them right. This one I didn't copy straight off of JL, but I went with what I had seen. So based on the way I saw it working, is I built this based on it. So I think I'm guessing it was pretty much similar to this. So yeah, you can see that for these four ice blocks, each one is connected to just one solid block when the pistons are up, so that it will it'll freeze. Each water source block has a chance to freeze and it's kind of maximized in terms of how much water is in here. The only place I had trouble with is kind of the edges and the corners, so I don't know if it was worth doing it so that each one had at least one solid block or to leave a couple that didn't, but it's 
anyway, like here I didn't do it because this guy isn't connected to anybody, nor is this guy. So I could have put a piston here, maybe. But anyway, I'm in the process of freezing over the area. I've been chopping down trees, flooding it, and I plan on keep going. Except there's the desert. And that is also where I harvest my sand and sandstone. You can see that here. Just using efficiency shovels and picks. Okay, so the other type of machine, which is pretty cool, it was also on the JL server. I don't know if it was actually designed by JL or someone else on his server. But it creates this massive block of ice, which is pretty cool. And I've just been letting it grow because I don't really need ice right now. And I do some caving down here, which gives this opportunity to, to grow. And also the sand harvesting. And I made mine out of ice just for aesthetics, so you, and you can kind of see what's going on. But there's a bunch of buds, basically, and the water is right in front of these pistons. So that as soon as one ice block forms, you just saw it, it pulls it. And as soon as that's pulled, I think this guy goes down, pushes, and then these ones are smart pistons. That, or no, I think they're also bud because you can't do a smart piston with ice. So yeah, it goes down there, goes all the way over here, and then this whole bottom part is pistons. Which you can see if I go down here. Oh, there you go. That's for all those. So that's just a big platform that gets pushed up to form the rest of that. Let's, phone going off. Sorry. It's usually on vibrate. Okay, so yeah, those are those two. I think first I built this one, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then while I was waiting for this one to freeze, I decided to go ahead and build these ones. They are, however, however, very resource intensive in terms of how many pistons you need and redstone. So I think I actually had to pause partway through to collect some more resources. And then I waited till I had enough for this guy. Yeah, there's some ice here. I also have ice in the nether also some back in the main base so really don't have any use for I'm pretty sure I won't need that much more ice I mean I use a lot here for the tunnels but I don't know how many more tunnels I need okay that's that one why don't we take the mine cart to the other one nice thing with 1.3 you don't need a block behind it oops although it does make you go faster it doesn't usually go that slow go go anyway yeah, if you hold the direction key, you can nudge your cart, if you didn't know that. Pretty handy. So this one's diagonal. I'm trying to make it spawn-proof for big men, but I think they can... Sp I think this is spawn-proof. Well, not here, obviously. Screw you. No, 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 no. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't really actually looking at the tunnel. I just did some slow sand with some wool for... Contrast, yeah. So there's again an ice platform here. I think it's actually faster to do this than to take the cart. And then a ceiling. I kind of wish I kind of arched it a bit more. But I don't know if, yeah, I think there's one more block before it gets to the bedrock. That's kind of hard to do diagonally, I think. Here I just threw up some eyes of the Enderman. And this one has a little hidden storage. I put two ender chests in there just for symmetry. Symmetry. And the nether is where I'm going to store all that nether rack. Even though I will never need it, probably, so I should probably just destroy it. So yeah, this is my end portal. Oops, missing a piece of wool. Again, just a nice open archway or open room, spherical, domed, I guess would be proper. So that goes to the end and the ender farm. The ender farm is JL's design, which I copied DocAm's tutorial. So it's pretty standard. I don't know if we really have to visit it, as it's not definitely not my design. And it looks pretty much probably like any other ender farm. I didn't do too much aesthetically. I built mine out of end stone just for the hell of it. Okay, here's where my tunnel has not been upgraded. 
This is heading to the Nether Fortress. I've got a little bit of a tunnel here that I put half slabs in to prevent the pigmen from spawning, which is kind of annoying. Uh, maybe I'll let's go take a peek. I'll show you from the side. I don't know how bright this is. Is try that again. I don't know how bright this is going to be, so I'll see what I can do in terms of brightening it up. So let's go over here. And let's try to have a fire protection on my heart bar for when I end pearl into the lava. And that is a when, not if. So yeah, that's kind of what I've got so far. And I plan on keep going and overhauling the nether fortress. I'm not quite sure. I'll probably use these blocks, block types. I really like what Etho did, but I'm not gonna copy what he did. Plus I don't have water. I did this just quickly to see how that would look. I don't like that. So I was going to see if I could just kind of highlight the existing one by changing out some blocks, but I don't like it, so I'll, I'll see what I can come up with. Okay, this is my blaze farm. I've got two, or a dual. This is using Ethos design as well. Uh, using the dome, or the cone shape pistons to push them down. These two worked out pretty good. They're at the same height. Unfortunately, they are not quite in line with each other, so they're two blocks off. So what I've done, if you can see in there, is that you get pushed over to this corner, which moves the blaze as far over as I could to this side. And same with this guy, kind of over to this side. And then that allows me, wow, this is laggy. Why don't we turn off particles? Maybe that'll help. And why not? Oops. I'm Canadian. Yes. Sorry. Okay, I have to cut that. I actually have to re record this bit because I didn't realize how loud it was. So, yeah, that was awful. Okay, so here we are at the bottom. Hopefully, it's not too loud this time. So, yeah, they collect down here, and then I hooked up some controls. I've got crusher for each side and some poison. Uh, the poisons are hooked up to two, you see it over here, uh, two dispensers just so you don't have to fill it up as often and they get toggled so every time you hit the button it uses a different one. And you can crush these guys so it just pushes forward and then these two pistons push in to crush them. And then they're a one-hit kill, or you can take some, that's what I want the spider eyes for, which we will go to soon. Uh, yeah, or you can use a potion. And then you grab the drops. Sometimes they land back there, and then you have to hit the crusher again to bring them forward. I might put in a separate control that pushes these back pistons forward. Maybe hook them up to some pressure plates here, so you just walk up, and they get pushed forward. But I don't know. Again, main reason I did this is probably not for XP, although they are okay for that too. I mainly just wanted the blaze rods, so I can use them for either fuel or what have you. Need those. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So I will cut here. And I'll actually bring you back in a moment, because I failed miserably here in a second, and I won't deprive you of that. It leads right. to... Uh, extreme Hills Biome. Let's see if I will die. Yep. See? When I fall in the lava. When I fall in the lava. I'm trying to be all fancy. Is that gonna make it up? Oh, it sure didn't. Wow. Oh my god. Well, I hope you're enjoying this. I could cut it, you know, I could cut it. But no, let's see how much I keep failing. All right. Usually I'm not this bad at underpearling. I was going to hit a pigman just to top it off. Okay. 